In this problem, the force of attraction is given between a divalent cation and a monovalent anion. Additionally, we are told that the radius of the cation is 0.06 nanometers, and we are asked to solve for the anion radius. To begin with, on a problem like this, it's important to recognize that the inner atomic distance, r naught, is just equal to the radii of the cation plus the anion. Therefore, all we need to do is figure out an expression that relates the force of attraction and the radius of the cation which we're given to the inner atomic radii. So how do we make this relationship? Let's start with the attractive energy. The attractive energy, E sub A, is equal to negative A, a constant, divided by R. We know that the force associated with this, the attractive force, is just equal to the derivative of our energy with respect to separation distance r, which in this case makes our expression just a, a constant over r squared. Now, since we're talking about the force between two charged particles, two atoms, this should be a Coulombic attraction. And sure enough, the expression for a Coulombic attraction is the charge of the first particle, z1, that's the oxidation state, times the fundamental charge of an electron, times the charge of the second particle, particle its oxidation state, multiplied by the fundamental charge of that particle, divided by 4 pi times epsilon naught, epsilon naught is the permittivity of free space, multiplied by the separation distance squared. So writing these out, we have the attractive force, which we know is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught, r squared, times z1, this is our divalent cation, so this is a positive 2 there, we put it in absolute value, and we have a monovalent anion, so this is a negative one over here, but it's an absolute value. Plugging these values in now and solving for r, r naught, the interatomic separation distance, we have r naught equals two times the fundamental charge squared divided by four pi epsilon naught times the attractive force. This whole thing taken to the one half power. When we put in values for this, we can actually solve for what r naught, our interatomic equilibrium separation distance would be. And we find that it's equal to two point 39 times 10 to the negative 10 meters, which if we convert that to nanometers is simply 0 0.239 nanometers. Okay, we are almost finished now. Now we go back to our initial relationship that RC plus RA equals R naught. And now we know some of these values. We know that R naught is 0 0.239 nanometers. Therefore, if we subtract from that the radius of the cation, we should have the radius of the anion, which equals 0 0.18 nanometers.